Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Sustainable Scoop. There's all kinds of discussions on how to produce renewable energy, energy storage, but probably one of the most effective and efficient ways to improve your energy output is to reduce your consumption. Joining me today are Laura Garcia Olson. She is the coordinator for Energy Masters, and then two Energy Masters themselves, Guillermo Ortiz mm -hmm. and Charles Njoku. Thank you very much for affording us this opportunity to come in and talk about our program. Energy Masters is a collaborative effort between Arlingtonians for a Clean Environment, ACE, which many people know, and the Virginia Cooperative Extension, or VCE. It's a program that's modeled on the Master Gardener program, and what we do is train a cadre of volunteers that come in and want to learn more about water conservation and energy efficiency. We uh, undertake a six, uh, five or six week training program, teach them um, many different things about plumbing, electricity, uh, water conservation. Guillermo and, and Charles will talk a little bit more about that. Uh, equip them then to go into low-income housing units throughout the county and now in the city of Alexandria and retrofit those units so that they therefore or thereby become more energy efficient. We engage in tenant education, tell them a little bit about the importance of uh, conserving energy, uh, saving water, thereby uh, enabling them to learn a little bit about the importance of these issues and also allowing them to save some money in their pocketbooks. Some of the retrofits that we undertake really do uh, speak volumes in, in their pocketbooks. So. This, is, this is such an important thing to do because you, you mentioned the education piece mm -hmm. too. And now you gentlemen were educated, but, but what I'd really like to know is what got you interested in volunteering, Guillermo? Why this program. Absolutely. So I had just uh, about a year out of graduation, so I went to Johns Hopkins University and got a degree in global environmental change and sustainability. So uh, all throughout my college experience, I was really interested in these issues, uh, energy efficiency, water conservation. And I had just accepted a position in the uh, public policy fellowship with the Congressional Hispanic Caucus Institute. And they educate young Latino leaders and in order to teach them more about civic engagement and social responsibility. It's a nine-month fellowship in which we go and work on Capitol Hill and work on federal policy. And it was in this space that I really wanted to learn more about the issues I was working on. It was uh, around for affordable housing. And then I wanted to bring that towards... Uh, to the community that I just moved into. I just moved into Arlington. I am so glad you did. You're going to inspire a lot of young people to share their talents. Now, Charles, what about you? When you, when you went into the first home, can you tell me a memorable moment that really touched you? Yes. Um, one of the most memorable um, was uh, sometime during this winter that we had um, uh, a, day, a work day at the... Um, I think it's at Fort Henry that was the location. Uh, one of the apartment buildings we walked in uh, with my crew, and uh, there was a lady sitting down when we knocked at the door. Um, she was reading the newspaper, and we greeted her and said hello, introduced herself and what we wanted to do. She doesn't seem very excited about it, but um, she said, oh, you come in. The, uh, the facility manager did talk to us about this, and so, when I walked in, I saw that the, uh, the stove was just on. Uh, she was, the heat was just coming out from the stove. I uh, looked at a thermostat on the wall. It was about 90 degrees in a little small space. And I, and I, and I told her, why do you have these, uh, these uh, st the stove in, on, you know, in your apartment open? Say the heat wasn't enough, that she does not get enough heat. And so she's more like complimenting uh, the stove with, uh, you know. And uh, what, what we did notice was the windows were all cracked up. There were air leakages everywhere, both at the windows and at the doors. And she had no clue where the, where the air was coming from. Charles, it's so interesting. Such a, such a moment walking into somebody's house. And not only, you could possibly have saved her life. Absolutely. But also, you've changed the environment around her to a much healthier environment. But what I think is great is that you've created a sense of community. 
And, and, and that really is what you do. People go out and they help each other. And if you really want to make a difference, this is one way you can do that. Absolutely. Now, Laura, can you tell me, does it take a lot for someone to, um, to join this program? Do they have to pay to be involved? Yes. Um, so, so all of us who, I think you can tell just by, by our conversations here, that all of us are very committed to these issues. Um, and we do ask that those who are going to get involved do commit to both the training that we offer and afford um, them to be a part of, as well as a commitment to participate in the work days that Charles referenced. So those work days are arranged uh, well in advance. We work with local housing partners to identify groups of units where our teams can go in and do the work that needs to be done. Um, if you go to our website, ACE's website, arlingtonenvironment.org, there is information on Energy Masters on that, on the website. There is an application that we ask folks to fill out. Uh, then to participate in the program, it's just shy of $70, and then there's a background check, a small background check fee. I want to thank you both for coming today. And Laura, please continue the great work. And I want you viewers to go to arlingtonenvironment.org or even adjust your thermostat in the summer and in the winter to save energy because we all can conserve a little. I'm Miriam Gennari. That's the Sustainable Scoop. Back to the news desk.